Hi, and welcome to the Dow Market View for Wednesday, the 20th of August 2014. In the previous videos, we've looked at the market unfolding in real time, and I will continue to do more of those videos as well. But the sort of Dow Market View is to give you a heads up of what's likely to happen during the trading day, what news is going to be released, so on and so forth. So this uh, video is going to take a slightly different format. We'll still have a look at the overall picture we'll look at the individual bars we'll also have a review of the trades as well and with that starting off on the left hand side of the chart you can see that uh, the market opened here we see the buying coming into the market this is immediately followed by selling and then a second selling bar followed by a third now if you're watching this in real time I'm just going to move this over to the right a bit so you can see what's on the left hand side of the chart here as well We've already got some selling to the left here, so there's no surprise to see the selling on uh, this bar here, followed by further selling. We've got this support coming in on the left-hand side now. And this bar's an interesting bar because it's actually, uh, you can see that trading to the downside, it's red, showing selling, but it's not actually taking out the low to the left. However, what the professionals do is they like to test to see if there's any further selling around, in particular in this area over here to the left. So they open the market, thrust down prices, bring them back up so the prices are driven down and then brought back. And then you can see the increase in volume here. In order to move higher after the sellings disappeared, you will be lead, uh, looking for green bars and uh, they are professional buying bars. And this is what uh, you're seeing here. And then we get a sell sig uh, sorry, a buy signal. Uh, to the left, we've got uh, an unqualified triple uh, X and PTP this wasn't filled and if we just draw that in you will see why you see the market just coming down close to it and then reversing and moving up so it was a, a fine line on uh, this particular sell signal here then the market uh, puts in uh, the buy signal the PTP there and we see the trade being filled we also had a sell signal on this bar as well which wasn't filled because obviously the buy took uh, the trade into the market price is traded in a sideways range for the next hour before trading up to uh, the uh, 16,900 uh, BRN there and eventually you see it uh, moving up towards the scalp still not actually uh, filling it at this time and if I just drag the scalp line across there it took until here before the trade was actually uh, classed as a dark green PTP there with the market hitting the scalp area we had a sell signal in between well in fact we had two we had two triple X's and a PTP neither of which were filled and then a new buy signal late on in the afternoon there so the market traded up to the scalp it um, took a moment or two to actually get there and then once through the scalp if you wanted to trail this as I've said uh, in the other videos once prices trail through the scalp uh, you can consider moving the stop up or moving the stop to break even let it breathe or take half the position off the choice is down to the individual trader because each individual trade that I've uh, found over the years has a different um, view and way of interpreting risk some people are happy to leave things and let them breathe other people want to collect the money so it's about giving options to cover those uh, aspects of individuals approach and uh, view on risk but what I found is that if you want to let it breathe then when you the markets trading in this sort of 20 pip scalp is just to move the stop to to break even or to take half off the table and leave half on so you've actually collected some so if it comes back down to break even then you have actually collected some as well and the other half allows you to keep fishing just in case a big one comes along as well so the market's through the scalp and if you'd have trailed on 100 percent of the weaknesses so if we just go to the annotations there to extensions and 100% you will see there off this uh, up thrust that we've got that uh, the market takes out this trade at around 16.910 the entry price is 16.890 uh, which is exactly the same as the stop there so on this one there was only 20 pips 
available on this trade. The market, of course, sat on this uh, line after we can see the buying coming back into the market here, selling coming back down to it, and then three buying consecutive buying bars there, followed by some weakness, followed by a bit more buying before the end of the trading session. So a fairly quiet day for the Dow yesterday. And the reason for this, if we just have a look at the news, but just before we do that, let's just have a look at the trading range for the day from the recent low or the low for the session to the high. It was only 68 uh, points there for yesterday. In the news, uh, and this is why the market's quiet, we're going to go over to the US late on in the afternoon. We've got uh, crude oil inventories which won't affect the market. CBI industrial expectations out, uh, oh, that's for the UK this morning. Uh, and this is the biggie. We've got uh, the FOMC meeting at uh, 7 p.m. So expect beforehand from 2.30 to uh, 7 p.m. or just before the market could be fairly sideways and quiet. And I say that because you only have to look at uh, yesterday's trading session when uh, we had the CPI figures at 1.30, which you can see there. That's what uh, this is here and then the market for um, trading sideways after it. So I would expect the market to be fairly quiet beforehand. Alternatively, sometimes what you get is that the market makes a big move because somebody leaks the information into the market, but that is rare. But it's something else just to keep in mind. So expect a choppy session from 2.30 until the release of whatever Yellen uh, has to say at uh, 7 p.m. when uh, they release the uh, Federal Reserve uh, Mo uh, Market Open Committee uh, minutes uh, at 7 p.m. In the daily chart, let's just have a quick look at this. It's always good to have a look at the background of the market, see where we are in the bigger picture. Um, we can see here the market's uh, doing what's known as a V-shaped correction. The market's uh, moved down and is starting to come back. By using a few uh, fib retracements we can get a good indication of where the market's likely to come back this is the high to the left down to the low and we can see there the market uh, trading to the 76% uh, uh, yesterday or within a few uh, points of it I'm just going to uh, widen this out a bit so you can actually see there so this is going to be an area of resistance today 16936 and should the market uh, trade through this, then uh, you want to have a look at these. Uh, just put that in there, get a zero extension. You've got resistance here. You've also got resistance there. There's a triple resistance. And then we're back to the high of uh, sort of uh, mid, mid June when uh, the, before the market actually uh, moved lower there. You can see the buying coming back into the market here, the market moving higher. We've not got any great or significant volume moving this market back to the upside. It's uh, sort of going up on fresh air at the moment. So they are the target points. If you actually, there's another one here I've just noticed. We've got uh, this one here, which actually will be the next upside one. You can see the figure there, 16,987, heading back towards the 17,000 area. This is going to be a very interesting area should the market trade back up to this uh, area, which uh, I expect it will do uh, during the next uh, few weeks as we head towards uh, the September, the return of uh, people from uh, and traders from their vacations. Right, well, that's it uh, for this morning's uh, Dow Market View. I will see you in the next one. Uh, thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.